guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you my Japan haul for the Louis items that I got there. I visited uh, five cities and in total I visited two Android pretty stores and four baby stores in my mind. Yeah. So yeah, let's start. So first up this is not from Baby Ray P, but uh, I visited Bodyguard in Harajuku and they had a 50% sale going on. I got this like uh, white blouse, short slit blouse, it has like this strawberry lace. I have this blouse in pink also, so and it was 50% off, so I decided to get it and I wore this a lot because it was a lot hotter than uh, we thought it would be in Japan. It was like uh, summer weather which we usually have here in Finland, so it was um, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius so this came to a lot of good use on that trip so yeah, here was the first blouse, nothing really that special about it and then I think I'm going to go on with the smaller accessories first so first up we have these two Kumia like a uh, lot of chocolate necklaces. This one was from the baby Shibuya store. It is the like uh, main store and it is in pink. I'm actually selling this one so if you are interested it has only been worn once. I just uh, wore it once on my trip and it is in perfect condition so if you're interested in it hit me up so it is on sale. I got the pink one since I really wanted the brown, but I wasn't sure if I was going to find it anywhere in Japan. But actually I found it in Osaka. Here is the brown version. It is the same, little kumia with heart and then there's pearls and a metal chain. But yeah, this was what was the one that I wanted. So if anyone, one of you wants the pink one, hit me up. So yeah. Um. I also got these little like cheap can patches. These are like 500 yen each. I have been wanting these two patches for a couple of years, but I have never gotten them when I have like, I don't usually order from baby directly. So there is no reason to really order them second hand because they're more expensive that way. But yeah, I saw this in baby uh, Kyoto. So I got them. The, this one is like Baby Distortion Bride with like uh, Usekumia and Kumakumia and this one is like Kumakumia with the pink background. I have this one with the Monka background already. So um, for Q-Pot, I visited Q-Pot in Harshugu. I We didn't go to the cafe but from their store I got this uh, Sakura Monaka necklace. This was one of the things that I uh, looked uh, on their website if they had this in stock and I was hoping that I would find this in the store and it was in the store and this is actually my first like brand new Cupid necklace. I wear a lot of Cupid but I don't buy directly from Cupid because they are very expensive. There's like little little glitter and then there's like this uh, whipped cream and little like um, like almond jelly in my mind but yeah it's very cute and um, for the date court I was it's starting to be spring and it's like red outside so I decided to wear a lot of red I don't usually wear this much much red but for this video I decided to do it but yeah it's uh, very different from my like usual cording um, I also got, since I bought a lot of things, uh, I got the baby point card, which uh, they uh, you can get when you buy uh, over a certain amount. It's for, you get one stamp every 5,500 yen spent. So you get one stamp and when the card is full you get 3,000 yen off. Yeah, yeah here's the, my stamp card. And all the like stamps are like really cute they like draw in them and then they like stamp some of them and put on the dates and i yeah let's continue i think should i continue maybe well we went over q but i think i'm going to do like ap <laughs> at this i just got like two things from baby ap it was two different stores so from 
AP Harajuku in the Lafayette, which I visited first, I got this chocolate tea time headdress in pink. I personally didn't like this headdress uh, when they released chocolate tea time, but seeing it in person made me really fall in love with it. It's like this pink maid type headdress with like little ribbons and like little AP tags, and I thought it would be really cute with like a cookie or like a chocolate clip at the front, so I got it. And the other thing I got from AP, this was from AP Kyoto. I have, I just sold my like pink uh, Taobao like old school headdress before my trip because I wanted to find a like brand one and like a little di different like uh, my mine was like a more like a half bonnet and this one is more like old school headdress. It has like this gorgeous flower lace and like AP and there's one comb inside it. I'm going to see some alligator clips in it also. But yeah, very, very plain and very good for casual wear. I'm going to take a little water break. So now we only have baby left. So from baby Kyoto, I got this like ribbon, ribbon OTKs in ivory and brown. I wore, <laughs> wore them on the my trip, so nothing really special about them. But yeah, I just some plain OTKs, which are always great. <laughs> and where are the other socks? And from the baby Shibuya store with the like, Kumia necklace, uh, I love. Well, actually, my, my mother got this for me, but. Uh, she got me like this baby like ankle socks. You can dye like bows with these. There, these were just in the wash, so the t bows are opened uh, because of that. But yeah, there's such as like plain white ankle socks, which I wore multiple times during the trip, as you can see by the, uh, the t tag that it's already coming off. So yeah, and. From I got the most things from AP e Harajuku in Lafayette, and for, from there I got like I got these um, clips. One of them has like a Sakumiya, and the other one has a Kumakumiya, and they have like these little baby hearts on them, and they're very cute. I wore these already also, and also from that store I got. The matching head bow for my Meiji Kumia dress, and this head bow was actually in multiple of the stores, but I didn't get it in the lottery, and then I regret it, and I found it in Japan, so I'm very happy. I don't usually get baby's head bows, but this one goes with multiple dresses, and it's it has wire in it, so you can like do it like on the top or like push it down. Like I like more like push down person, but yeah. And here is like the baby XMG tag. And from baby Osaka, which was our last top, I got this Sakura Kumia tote. It I saw this tote in red multiple in the multiple stores, but um, I wasn't first sure if I was going to get it since it's a little different for my like wardrobe but for example even though the reds are a little different I think I could wear this with like this coordinate also it has like the <laughs> Usakumiya and Kumakumiya in the like uh, cherry blossom like uh, piles and then there's like Kumakumiya and Usakumiya separately and there's like little butterflies and sakuras and it is like very such a cute tote and I love this print but it doesn't fit my wardrobe so I'm happy that I can appreciate it in this form and for the last up, this was the what the biggest thing I got on my trip, and it was also on the first day. I got the Meiji Milk Chocolate Heart Kumia 2 JSK in brown. This JSK was only the Harajuku store exclusive, and it sold every time first when it released. So on the first release. On the lottery, it was only available in the Lafayette store, and on the second release, it also sold out immediately on the website. So when I went to Lafayette and I was in the bottom floor, and I walked in the baby, and there was this rack which was full of Kumia dresses, and then I saw this in brown, and I was like, <laughs> I just snatched it and held on to it for the whole time I was in the store, and 
yeah and my friend was uh, uh, Mimi Maru was wearing this cut already in this colorway so I didn't even need to try this on myself because I saw how it looked on on her so yeah and I was I'm very happy because this was what was my the first color rate that I wanted but I ended up with the ivory because the brown wasn't av available on my SS but I actually saw this print in pink ivory and the brown colorway on my trip the pink and ivory were available in the Shibuya store and it was also available in the Osaka store and the ivory head bow was uh, also available. The only store that didn't have this was the Baby Kyoto store. But the only brown one I saw was this one which I got. And this is the other chess K cut. I have the scalp chess K, which is the cut I like more. I don't personally really like this scratchy tool, but it looks okay and it has like this like um, um, setting ribbon on it. This one is has the full back shearing. And it has a zipper. The, my other GSK had a broken zipper. I have not opened this zipper uh, past the bust part because I am, I am afraid that, that this will be also broken and I don't really want to change that. And since it's a full picturing GSK anyway, I don't really need to open the zipper. So, yeah. And the uh, waist tie buttons are like chocolate hearts. And there is um, fa four button holes for adjustment. I wear it on the second one. But yeah, so the print is actually a little different compared to the ivory colorway. The Usakumiya is very pink on the ivory colorway, but on this colorway it's more muted and it's turned more dusty pink. And also Kumakumiya is a little different color, uh, since on the other one it, they have like more brownish, um, like the bonnet. And on this one it's like more mokaish. So the print color... I'm back, my nose started running and my camera cut, so... But I'm here again. But yeah, it's very... It is very similar with uh, um, the ivory colorway, so if you want to see more details, you can go to my unboxing of that. But yeah, uh, in total I spent a lot of money, but actually I didn't spend all of the money that I has, had budgeted for shopping. And I also bought a lot of souvenirs for my friends, and then I bought non lolita items, which I'm going to do a separate haul of. I'm not going to do haul on all of the things that I got, but I was I visited the uh, real Akuma store, so I'm and like Sanrio store, so I'm going to do a video on those. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and consider subscribing. I was Yoshi, and I will see you next time. Bye.